Okay, so I was scrolling through my feed, and I saw a post by Bounty in the Comics. It was the article title, Marvel Comics gives Kamala Khan a new superhero name and a design as part of their Heroes Were Born event. And then I saw their comment by Bounty in the Comics saying, this is cringe. So I was like, oh boy, I need to look at this article. Alright, let's take a dive into this article. Also, I want to point out, what's with, the, what's with the coloring in this art? Especially on her eyes. I can't even tell if her eyes are closed on her or those her eyes open. It's just so bad in coloring. Marvel Comics recently announced a brand new Young Squadron one-shot as part of their Heroes Reborn event that gives Kamala Khan a new superhero name as well as a new design. Oh man, they did, they did not learn from last time about doing, uh, you know, Heroes Reborn. Along with redesigning Kamala Khan, the series will also feature Sam Alexander and Miles Morales. They also get new suits and new superhero identities inspired by the Squadron Supreme. Uh, I already don't like where this is going. Sam Alexander, who has recently been going to code name Nova, will be will now be called Kit Spectrum and will receive new light constructs of powers of Doctor Spectrum. Alright, let's take a look at Oh. Okay. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh not a big fan of this. I mean what's what's the art? Uh, I don't is this really Marvel art? This feels like something they this is, feels like the artist you can easily find off Deviant Art. Designs uh, not great at all. Not. I mean, I mean, it makes sense, but the classics, you can't really redo the classics like this, in my opinion. Not like this, anyway, right? Miles Morales will become new Falcon and will become a par partner of the Squatch and Supreme's Nighthawk after his original sidekick died. Take a look at the new design for Miles Morales. Miles Morales Falcon. Oh, God! God! Miles, what did they do to you? And so first of all, why are you changing? Why are you changing to the Falcon? I don't why. This whole this whole design just looks pretty awful. Why even go with this design? This is the, these things don't even look like wings. They're not even looking like wings, like you know the like how Falcon's costume usually is. And what's and what's with these things at the bot at the bottom of his of his pants? They 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 just don't mix well together. Ah. Uh, Miles, poor Miles. What, are they, what have they done to you? The outfit looks inspired by the 1980s suit, which can you see below. All right. I mean, I mean, at least with the 80s suit, he still had. You could still he see his feather wings. At least for here, they just look bad. Just right here, they at least look like you know cooler feather wings. Like right here, these look like the actual wings compared to this. This this is so awful. <laughs> poor Miles. Finally, Kamala Khan will take on the superhero moniker of Girl... Girl Power. Say what? Oh my god. Uh, hold up, let me finish reading this. Instead of getting her superpowers through the Terrigen Mist as she did in the, her original origin, she will instead inherit them from an artifact from Power Princess's homeworld. Take a look at her new design. Oh my god. <clears throat> hold up. Girl Power? Girl power. Seriously? Uh That was probably one of the dumbest re renamings ever besides from the Washington football team. And mind you, I am a fan of Washington, but uh They were right, this n the, the new name is very cringe. Uh I mean, uh, I, mean uh, I mean, her design's actually not bad. It actually looks pretty good for her. I mean, it's it's actually a bit better than how her usual costume is. I mean, it, it gives her at least it gives her a more unique look for this for this for this costume. But girl power, really? I mean, you could you could have come up something better than that. I mean, I I know the only reason to come up with Power Girl because of Power Girl from DC Comics, and I feel like that's probably true. Uh, legal disputes, then you know, they don't want to have a repeat of Captain Marvel all over again. So I'll give this I'll. I'll give them one credit. At least they made her new costume look a lot better than, you know, new one. I don't have a problem with the new one too much. It's it's just not as great. It's not really too great, but this one's a lot better than her act than her original than her actual costume, but uh why girl power? Just why? Come on, Marvel. You could have do better than this. I mean, I don't see too much of a resemblance here. Not in the slightest, but I get where they're trying to come from at least, but I don't see any similarities between these two costumes. Like, at all. And he, 
Oh, and look, here's the title of Young Squadrons for this. I mean, title doesn't look too bad, but I just can't get behind these costumes. I mean, Kamala's I can sort of get behind, but these two, no. No, I, I just can't get behind them. But, man, they really did my boy Miles dirty. But, I mean, Sam's less dirty, but they actually did some decency with Kamala. I mean, I don't I don't hate Kamala Khan's character, but I'm just like, I mean, I, her designs, like I said, it's way better. Way better than all of them. All right. The official description also reveals that Deadpool will be showing up in a one-shot issue. It reads, The Squatch and Supreme of America have taken root in the hearts and minds of all, but none more than the trio of the useful champions who call themselves the Young Squadron. Description continues, Kit Spectrum, Girl Power, still stupid, and All New Falcon are here to fight for true justice in the American flag. Or are they? <laughs> just, just like the Justice League. But then again, that's what... A squadron is in Marvel Comics. Finally, it concludes beneath the flashy facade of colorful adventure. Something grim is stirring, and Deadpool is determined to bring it to light. Please, Deadpool, please. Please save everybody from this. Please save everybody from... Please save everybody from this. <laughs> I beg you. Oh, man. As for the actual Heroes of Reborn event, it will introduce readers to a world without the Avengers. As both Marvel explains, the radical transformation of the Marvel Universe, the Squadron Supreme rise up to take the place of Earth's mightiest heroes. It goes to state, Reborn number 1 will welcome readers to a world where Tony Stark never built the Iron Man armor, where Thor is a hard drunken atheist who despises hammers, where Wakanda is dismissed as a myth, and Captain America was never found in the ice because there was no Avengers to find him. They go on to reveal instead the world has been protected by Earth's mightiest heroes, the Squadron Supreme of America. And now, the Squadron faces on an attack of their, some of their fiercest enemies, including Dr. Juggernaut, the Black Skull, the Silver Witch, and Thanos with the Infinity Rings. But why is the Daywalker Blade the only man who life who seems to remember that the entire world has somehow been reborn? Uh, they're pulling, yeah. They're, they've done this formula before, so. Infinity Rings? Uh, nah, it's not the same as the Stones, but... I feel like it's a bootleg. It's a, just a much OPR version of Mandarin's Rings. Jason Aaron, who will be writing the main series, described as the, as maybe the wildest story I've ever put on paper. Don't lie to yourself, Jason Aaron. Don't lie to yourself. He elaborated, I got cut loose in this release onto my inner comic re weird child in a really profound way. And together with a cadre of immensely imaginative artists, we built a world that would I'm damn pretty confident is saying that it is quite unlike any version of the Marvel Universe you've seen before. It grew out of the pages of my Avengers run, but kept getting bigger and bigger as it went, and the more the pieces I put into place for this reborn world, the more gleeful and excited I became. This project really stuck the fires of my love for comics all the right ways. But please, please find better artists for this, I beg you. Heroes of Reborn launches in May. The Heroes Reborn Young Squadron one shot will also be go on sale in May. What do you make of Kamal's new app? name and outfit what do you make of enti the entire heroes were born premise I, I i can tell you right now the design is actually a lot better but that name oh my god ah so bad so awful grinch uh and i found no one could top dan schneider and you know thinking of the washington football team i could not be more wrong and here we are and I really worry for this new Heroes Were Born event. I mean, Jason Aaron's writing it, but... Mm, I don't know what to think of this. Because, I don't know, was Marvel having to re repeat stories in a different manner now? It's just like... Marvel's repeating stories in a different manner. It's like after not learning from their previous time doing the story. It's just... Ah, uh, man. I... This is really more worrisome than ever.